would show you how to do a tender beef and bean stew freezer meal. You guys know I have been working really hard to freeze some meals for after delivery. I have about a week's worth and I was hoping to have about two weeks worth of dinners planned for after baby at least. And so this is a really simple one that I was going to show you today. What you're gonna need is about four pounds, or I'm sorry, about two pounds of beef stew meat, four cans of kidney beans, rinsed and drained, two cans of diced tomatoes, undrained, about two cups of frozen corn, two cups of chopped onion, four chopped celery ribs, two cans of chopped green chilies, two cans of sliced ripe olives, which we left out because no one except for me likes olives in our family, so we just left that out, but if you like olives, go ahead and throw that in there as well. You're also gonna need about one to two tablespoons of chili powder. We're gonna use just one. We're also going to use um, some beef bouillons. That's what the recipe calls for, but we actually like to use these beef stew seasoning mixes instead. So if you have these, go ahead and use this. Otherwise, beef bouillons would work perfect. You're also gonna use about 1 4th teaspoon of salt and about two cans of tomato sauce. And that's all the ingredients you need, and it's super simple. You're just gonna split everything up in half, and you're gonna put them in these individual freezer bags over here. And I will go ahead and show you guys how to prep this. Okay, so I put all the ingredients in a bag and I have labeled it. I like to lay my bags flat so that it doesn't take up a lot of space in the freezer. And so I just kind of pushed it all down, spread it all the way to the top, make sure all that air is out. And I went and tried to label the actual bag with a Sharpie marker, but for some reason this hefty bag, it's kind of like falling apart. I'm not sure why. I just took some tape and a piece of paper and kind of made my own label. As you can see, the beef stew is gonna cook on low for at least eight hours. And when you go to add this to your crock pot, you wanna also add two tablespoons of uncooked white rice, and you also need to add about half a cup of water. If you were not freezing this meal, then I would add one cup of water if you were throwing everything into the crock pot right now. But since it freezes, it kinda of holds some water. So you don't need as much, and you can always add a little bit more water if you notice that it needs some later. Also, what I had mentioned before about the olives, um, we did not put any olives in here because our family, um, most of the people in our family do not like olives, but if you do, I would actually go ahead and throw them in 
whenever you put this bag into the crock pot. I don't know if olives would really freeze well, so I wanted to make a note of that. Put those in later, either on top after it's already cooked, or you could throw it in there while right before it cooks, but I don't think I would put olives in the freezer. What we like to do after this is all cooked is we normally top it with some cheddar cheese and sour cream, but that is optional. And also we like to make cornbread with it as well. It's a really good meal. My husband loves it. The kids like to eat it as well. And it's super simple and super easy. And if you guys have any questions or if you have any ideas for me for more freezer meals that I could do, I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. So just leave a comment in the comment section and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.